Hi, welcome to Dunwoody. This is our traffic control center. You know, Dunwoody is a great place to live and a great place to work, and that means lots of people want to come here, and the more people want to come here, the more traffic there is on the roads. We can't make traffic go away entirely, but we're going to do the best that we can to get people through traffic and then help people get where they're going as quickly as we can. Before this project and this investment, we could communicate with 20 of the 60 signals that the city has. So now we're able to communicate with and adjust remotely all the signals in the city. And we use this, all of this equipment, all of this uh, uh, technology to monitor our traffic signals, uh, to look for incidents, to look for congestion. And when something happens, we can use all of this equipment to kind of reroute traffic and get people where they're going safer and faster. If there's an incident on 285, and we know lots of people are going to be getting off and using the surface streets, we can change the plans that we're using for the traffic signals with the uh, officer who was dragged on 285. You know, the issue became that westbound 285 was shut down almost completely and the westbound ramp from Ashford Dunwoody Road was shut down completely. And when we were notified about that, we were able to pull up the system, identify where the traffic congestion was occurring, and add a lot more green time to the directions where a lot of extra cars were coming. Just being able to keep certain directions moving and clearing people out of the area, we think really helped reduce the total congestion that people experienced due to that incident. This is a culmination of two projects, really. One, the Perimeter CID secured about a million dollars of federal funding and then put in some of their own money to upgrade and modernize signals in the perimeter area and then the city had a 1.1 million dollar project to work to do upgrades on the signals in the rest of the city and 80 percent of that was federally funded. They're not red light cameras, we're not writing tickets based on anything we see there. These are purely to be able to monitor traffic flow.